Okay, so when you're working in a two-sided job, it's crucial that you get perfect alignment in X and Y when you flip the material over. And there's one method that I like to use that's totally fail-safe, and that's the asymmetrical dowel hole method. So with this one, you use three dowel positions, and the trick is to randomly locate the circles that represent your dowels around your project. Once happy with the location, you're going to copy those to the other side of your project for us to use later on. So once you've ran all of the toolpaths for your design on the top side, the last thing you need to do is run a pocket toolpath on the dowel vectors to a depth that's around three quarters of the dowel length that you plan to use. Then you're going to take your material off the spoil board. And then switching to the bottom side, we're gonna take the vectors for our dowel positions and we're going to cut directly into the spoil board. Then we simply align our top side to the dowel locations in the spoil board and because we randomly created our asymmetrical positions, there's only one possible way that we can relocate this. So I don't need to worry about remembering which way I flipped the material. Then we just carry on machining the other toolpaths in our design and voila, everything lines up perfectly. 